will tell you to know and why why whatever this is called but you know around here you're free to own opinion so today I wanted to talk about things I've learned during quarantine I've learned that people will crucify you for the very things they will worship you for um, secondly I've learned it's good to keep to yourself and I mean in the healthiest way possible keep to yourself if you think that the type of uh, group you could end up being associated in isn't godly you know like righteous and I don't mean like go around judging people I mean if you see there is a group of people who all they do is beat down people, bring down people, you know, don't be the type of person who gets involved with that type of crowd. Um, thirdly, I've learned to that um, prayer life is so important. You need to be the type of person who prays for yourself, even when um, you ask people to pray with you or for you. It shouldn't be that they pray for you more than you pray for yourself. Um, fourthly, um, it's attached to prayer life. Um, if you can go to your contact list and the people who are there, people who um, you can call for lunch but you can't call to pray for you, you need to recheck who, how do I say this, you need to prioritize who you really need in your life like for the long run not just short term um, I don't know what number I am in but um, in the next one I've learned that sometimes it's not about what you do it's just about um, your values what you stand for it makes you different and sometimes different people think different is something people will clap for but different is something people fight you for mostly because different will uh, will make you say no to things people are saying yes to and it will make you say yes to things people are saying no to it will also um, push you into changing you could be a different person or your mindset will change from just a few hours you know also read your Bible, whether you feel like it, whether you don't feel like it, whether you understand it or you don't understand it, you need to make it a priority to read your Bible. Also, relationships. If you find that um, you, if you need relationships more than you need, how do I say this, more than you need your relationship with God, you need to recheck yourself. You need to sit down and ask yourself why because you could be seeking validation from people that you don't need validation for because no matter how much people love you everyone is different we are all created differently our purpose our will our destiny is wired differently so i think people can love you and still not understand what you're made of you know it's not up to them to understand it it's up to you so you know, really learn yourself and give also, I've learned that, to give yourself grace. It's really important to give yourself grace because I think, um, I don't know if it's most, a lot of people, but a lot of people I met, I've met, including myself, <laughs> we really criticize ourselves so much. We beat down ourselves, you know, and when we get a win, it's so hard to recognize it because you're always thinking about what can I do next? How can I win in the next situation? How do I do more next time? And is what I've done enough, you know? So I feel like we should give ourselves grace. We should learn to reward ourselves, you know? Like, um, like give, I don't know, you know, when a kid does something good, sometimes a parent gives the kid maybe, you know, something that the kid likes so that to uh, to emphasize on how good they have done, that they should keep that same consistency. And I think as adults, we don't do that uh, for ourselves, you know. 
and we should do more of it. I've also learned that um, what matters to you won't matter to everyone. Or if it does matter to everyone, it won't matter at the same level that it does to you. So you need to be like your biggest investor. You need to be the one who is more invested in your growth than you expect it of anyone else. Because um, if you go around expecting it from other people, you will carry wounds that you don't need to carry. You will get hurt, you know, expecting things from people that you shouldn't be expecting from other people because, you know, first of all, that's not their obligation, that's yours. So carry your own cross, you know. And also I've learned that life has a funny way of working itself out. You think it's the worst, you think um, it's the end of the road, and then there comes a plot twist. There's always a plot twist. There's a lot of times you think you can't get through, then you get through, then you're like, nothing can touch me anymore, you know? And that's the best feeling. So I think when you're going through uh, bad situations, always remember that when you get through that same bad situation or a similar one, like that will never get you down. So all you need to do is stay strong, encourage yourself, you know, surround yourself with positive people, people who get you, surround yourself with godly people because godly people, and I mean like really grown people in faith, they will see things that other people won't see, you know. It takes more than understanding for some situations, for some life situations. And you need people who will also help you um, walk that journey well. You know, not give up. When you feel like you've given up on yourself, they push you up. You know, but don't depend on them, you know. Be your own cheerleader. Be your own supporter, you know. Be your own intercessor. Um something else I've learned is that um, we don't really need much in life Some, and <laughs> we hear this a lot of times it even sounds like a cliche but you really don't need so much you just need what you have and sometimes what you have is maybe your voice maybe all you need is a prayer you know maybe all you need is just to put yourself out there maybe all you need is to shut out every negative voice in your life it's just so that you can do bigger things you know and stop worrying so much about insignificant things and stop being so much in your head that you lose um, the courage to do things so yeah yeah that's what I've learned during quarantine there's so much more if you want to know more or if you want for me to talk about it more comments comments like subscribe you know encourage a sister <laughs> to encourage you too